watching David Graham Sports Report. Wait a minute, are you out of here? Yes, we are. Good. You do have a choice when it comes to ambulance service in this area. So when you call 911, ask for the best, state-of-the-art equipment, and a well-trained staff who stand ready to respond to your call. That's Vital Care Medtrans, when nothing but the best will do. Hello everybody, David Graham here with the Sports Report. Monday, White Oak Middle School was at home against Fairview and it was canceled, so we went on up north to Jellicoe and called Jellicoe and their brand new floor, they redone their floors up there over the holidays as well, against Winfield. Our girls won, but our boys lost. The girls game, the Lady Blue Devils won 30-17 to behind the scoring of Dobson, who dropped 12 points. And the Lady Blue Devils kept the pressure on all game long, a full court press that is. And the Lady Bobcats of Winfield had trouble moving the ball all game long. They had one player though who wasn't bashful about putting it up. Duncan, who had 14 of the Lady Bobcats points, was 4 for 4 at the line. Made a big 3 to draw close, but didn't have any help and they went on to lose. Now the boys game was ugly. Our boys didn't set screens all night long, didn't block out down low on defense, and that was our trouble. We lost big, 46-29 at home. Zucchini came up huge for the Blue Devils, though, with 21 big points. He had two threes. It was only one for four at the line, though. They tried to work the ball inside, but the lack of screens to open it up prevented us from doing just that, so Zucchini shot him from the outside and drove the lane when it opened up. It was 16-17 at the half and went downhill from there, and we went on to lose. Tuesday, Campbell County High School versus Anderson County High School. The Lady Cougars came into this game sitting atop the district with a 13-3 record and 5-0 in the district. The Lady Mavericks came in in fourth place with a 4-11 record and 3-2 in the district. They left John R. W. Brown with a 3-3 record in the district as our Lady Cougars disposed of the Lady Mavericks rather handily 60 to 28 to improve to 14 and 3 and 6 and 0 in the district and the big showdown with Oak Ridge which will come next week. We'll tell you a little bit about that later on. Leading the way for our Lady Cougars was Sarah Kane with 17 big points. I can hardly talk. Cassie Phillips and Scholar Boshears had 9 each. Haley Comer and Ashley Whitehead had 7. Everyone scored for the Lady Cougars except Julia Powell who didn't take a shot, I don't think. Now on the boys' side of things, our Cougars sit in 7th place with a set 9-7 overall record and 1-4 and in the district. The Mavericks were a surprising 10-7 but had an 0-5 district record and sit dead last in the district and will remain there as they lost to our Cougars in another ugly game. I'm telling you what, this was an ugly game. Your final score, Cougars 44, Mavericks 39. We went into the locker room though at halftime with a 28 to nine lead, a 19 point cushion, and almost let it slip away. If the Mavericks were playing any better, they would have come all the way back and beat us. But according to the coach of Anderson County, they haven't played well since the holiday tournaments. He said he hates and things. I don't blame him. That does take a lot out of teams sometimes. Elijah Phillips, Led the Cougars with 11, Landon Reese had 9, Evan Jackson dropped in 8, John Porter and Dylan Burge had 5, Colby Stretch Bailey had 4, and Jacob Walden had 2 to round out the scoring. Now, this Friday our Cougars travel to Gibbs, and then on Tuesday they travel to play the Wildcats of Oak Ridge, and should be a slugfest at both locations, Gibbs this Friday and Oak Ridge this Tuesday. And remember, you can follow the Cougars all season long on the WLAF b and Tire Sports Network with Josh Parker, Darren Overbay, Noah Smith, and Darren Gillenwater. And sometimes Jim Freeman sneaks in. But whatever the case, follow the Cougars right here on WLAF. Okay, best we can tell, middle school basketball. The Fallout Middle School doesn't play again until Tuesday, January 11th, when they will play at Robertsville with the JV Boys game at 5 p.m. Jacksboro Middle School, according to their schedule, was at Fairview Monday. And uh, let's see, their homecoming is January 19th versus Robertsville, but we'll get with uh, Richard Comer and we'll get a better schedule. I don't like the schedule I'm, I've got, so anyway, we'll get a better schedule. All right, we got more information on the Upper Basketball. They will play at the Fallen First Baptist Church 
and will start on Saturday, January 16th from 9 a.m. to 3 p.m. And we'll be there to cover that league as well. Now, if you'd like to sign your boy or girl up for this league, you can call Terry Childress, who is president of the league, and he tells WLAF that they will take sign-ups through the week leading up to the first games and probably beyond, as he says he doesn't want to exclude any, exclude any boy or girl. And this is not a competitive league per se. What I mean is that's not whether, it's not whether you win or lose, but that you learn good sportsmanship and other things and have fun. This is a very good league and one I'm sure you want your little one to be involved in. Terry also tells WLF he doesn't want to get in the way of any other leagues going on right now and he will reschedule if he has to. For more information though, you can call Terry at 423-494-2987. He will tell you what you need to get your child in this upper basketball league. SCCW returns to La Follette as Perfect Pets. SCCW presents... The Darkness Rises. Dun, 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 dun. Will take place at 109 North 1st Street, downtown La Follette, Bell Time, 7 p.m. This Saturday, that's January the 9th at 7 p.m. The main event will be Cadillac Cowboy and Lenny Stratton taking on the High Risk Impact. And several other matches will take place if you'd like. Hometown Wrestling, the way it used to be in Clean Family Show then. Come on out. Admission is adults $10 and children $5. And I will be there. Okay, January the 8th. I want you to keep this date open on your schedule and get down to the Carroll Elementary School because we're painting the county blue for Connor. Going to be a benefit concert at Carroll Elementary School. January the 8th. Special guests include Jimbo Whaley and Greenbrier, Ray Ball, Alex Leach, and many more. There will also be a silent auction. And for more information, Contact Brad Smith at 865-271-7033. That number again, 865-271-7033. The cost to enter will be $10. But if you're like me, I'm going to hand them a 20 and go on in as I want to help one of our very own in our community who desperately needs our help. So get involved. All right, that's it. That's all we've got today. You guys stay tuned, though. Sit right there. Don't you go nowhere because there's more to come right here on WLAF 103.7.